All right. So to be clear, I know that the guys talked about the whole Harrison Butker thing last week, but that doesn't mean I don't still have some shit to say about it. Because here you got this lucky motherfucker who gets to have a pretend job that makes him millions. He's a fucking kicker. 60 minutes of football, he's doing literally anything for what? Two minutes? Two and a half? And for that, he's fortunate enough to make millions of dollars and afford a lifestyle where his wife doesn't have to work if she doesn't want to. And let me just say, when you've got it that good, I feel like the play is just to hold as still as you can and hope nobody notices that and makes you get a real job. But instead, this asshole gives a commencement address at Benedictine College where he rails against abortion, Pride Month, COVID restrictions, and working women. And who the fuck even knows why, right? Maybe he's just sick of people who find out that he plays for the Chiefs asking if he can get them an autograph from Taylor Swift. Of course, there was plenty to hate in his speech, but the part that really went viral was the misogyny. And for good reasons, not the least of which was the fact that he was addressing a crowd that included a bunch of women who just got their fucking degrees. The beginning of their career as working women was some asshole who's never worked a day in his life telling them to take off their shoes and get back in the kitchen. So there's obviously backlash, and then there's backlash to the backlash by a bunch of thin-skinned white boys who scream cancel culture every time the world rejects their beliefs. Never mind that the news articles when this broke weren't quoting offended voices on Twitter or Facebook, but rather offended women who were in that audience being told that they were uterus first and person second. There was also more dismissal than I'd have liked. A lot of, well, they went to a Catholic college, what did they expect type shit. And that has no place in this discussion. First of all, you decide what college you're going to when you're a kid, generally. I'm not about to condemn somebody for not having it all figured out at 17 or 18. Secondly, not every kid has autonomy to go to whatever school they want. If mom and dad are paying for it, you're going to the school they're willing to pay for. If not, things like tuition cost, acceptance standards, scholarships, and proximity to home are going to be the deciding factors for most people. But even if they pick the school off of a menu with all the schools in the world and did so with a wisdom far beyond their years, that's still no excuse for this asshole to come into their school and tell them all about the joys of motherhood after they just got their fucking business degrees. Let alone to be told as much by a guy who's probably never done a job and definitely never had a baby. And look, I'm not saying that being a kicker is easy. I'm just saying it's easier than all the other positions in football or indeed all of professional sports for that matter. And if you're thinking, well, as soon as it's not like you can kick a ball 60 yards downfield, I say let's put Harrison's testicles on a T and find out. Anyway, that's all the time I've got this week. But if you miss me as much as I miss you on the weeks I'm gone, the best way to make sure there are more twim segments is to send me good twim stories to scathingnews at gmail.com. And if you really want to make my life easy, add twim or for Lucinda to the subject line. And with that reminder, I'll wrap things up and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.